It looks like there is something a little bit more around this grave area. It's actually really pretty if you look at it carefully. A lot of, I guess, candles and incense stuff around. This is water, right? It's like water around the grave. You notice a subtle indentation in the dirt behind the gravestone. Wow, this is something that I, I think you would have to go and seek out instead of stumbling upon randomly. Okay. You dig into the ground with your hands until you hit something solid. It's a videotape with a blank label. Hmm. Do I have to take it back to the basement to play it? I guess so. You load the mysterious tape into the slot underneath the screen. I'm alone, don't scare me. This is Chujin. I messed up. Miscalculated. Something. Axis. Axis is dangerous. I must have overshot the variables. All I wanted was apprehension. The human who almost hurt my child? I told Axis to track them down. What? Me? Me? Oh, maybe- but maybe Axis- how does Axis identify the person first? Maybe I look alike? Oh, uh, I know I should have stayed to comfort Kanako and tend to the resident who was hurt, but... I had a tool that could stop the human's crusade, so I tried. In a flash, Axis left me, bolted for waterfall. Oh no, this is from a long time ago, right? So I think this is before we saw Axis. I'm hoping. By the time I tracked him down, it was too late. I'll never forget the scene laid before me. Part of me wanted to quit everything that instant, but... This outcome was earned, was it not? Axis soon contained the subject and hid the evidence. There was some property damage, but I'm sure it won't come back to me, I hope. In any case, I now have a human soul in my possession. What? I do not know exactly what I should do with it, but the power that rests within it is... Well, let's just say I'm not donating it to Asgore like the others. Not yet. As for Axis, today's actions were excessive, but the potential is astounding. With more work, Axis can be the future, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I need to sleep. Though something tells me that will be difficult to do for a while. <gasps> he has a human soul already. Or he had one, we don't know what he did with it. An old dusty monitor with nothing but static hissing at you. This only brings you unease. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Alright. Cool, I guess. I don't really know what the implication of this is. I guess that there is a human soul somewhere. And he already tried it, right? But where is it now? Where is it now? I don't know. Something going on at the old Katsugane residence? I've noticed an unusual number of monsters visiting. Guess there's never a bad time to pay your respects. Brilliant minds, the Katsugane is. Have you seen our little sapling south of here? Well, perhaps I shouldn't call it little anymore. Its rate of growth has been unprecedented. My latest botanical methods seem to be working better than expected. The meadow is sure to return in the coming years. I truly believe it. That would be good. 
That would be very nice. So people, yeah, people drink from this oasis here. You guys doing good? Mm, I want to see the sapling. Oh. Through thick and thin and over time, the sapling is ready to blossom. What once was an idea within someone's mind is now a reality. A little hard work and dedication is all it took to make something special. Uh, oh, hello. Please don't mind me. I was only tending to this little fella. You want to talk more? Uh, how about that weather? Sure is hot today, like always. Do you like, um, air? I do. I breathe it all the time. Oh, what a coincidence. Me too. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not in the talking mood right now. M maybe later? So where is the... Martlet told me to go to the UG apartments. I don't even know where those apartments are. Like, which direction is it in? Did they mention? The Hotlands direction? I have to go back to the elevator? Hello, greetings to Pippa What can I do for you today? We can go back to Steamworks. Do we really want to? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Do we? Oof. <laughs> hey, I still wanted to check my mail and all that. Um... I have no idea which direction... the apartments are. Quite the turn of events, eh? Well, good thing I'm on the winning side, heh. I bet you'll handle Saroba like it's nothing. Yeah, something like that. Best be heading to Hotland. Who knows how long you got? So hot Hotland then, right? But Hotland is... You know that elevator at the end of the Steamworks? I believe it's your ticket. Let's deal with that backstabber already. Oh, the laundry chute. Where is the laundry chute? I ended up fast traveling back after all. Was this really what we were supposed to do? This is where we fought Axis. Right, so we're back here. Yes, yes. Return to the laundry room. Oh. Oh, the laundry room where we picked up the beef jerky? Oh, but can I go back up? Ah, I see. So if you walked to the steamworks, then you can use this to go up. But I just took the whale, actually. How do you climb up a chute? There shouldn't be anything in there for you to climb, but you did it. Smart little buddy. Now we'll follow them. Uh, should I be bringing more food into my bag first and stuff? Big elevator for a small guy. I have a feeling we should probably fill our items just in case. You never know when a fight's gonna break out. Whoa, R3. So I'll bring the bag. Um, this stuff from Mo. Yeah. Hotlands! Check this out! I want to just check my mail. I haven't checked my mail yet. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is. Mail time, mail time! I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Why? I'm so popular, I keep getting mail. Oh! Urgent! Spam letter 7. The monster life can be stressful, we all know that. Wouldn't you like to have a taste of surface life? Well, here in the Wild East, we pride ourselves on being the most authentic experience you'll find in the underground. 
Located east of Oasis Valley? Stop on by, partner! Hey, that doesn't seem like spam. That's like an ad to visit the town. <laughs> Slurpy letter 2. Hello again, dear comrade. I hope this letter finds you in the very picture of health. I heard word that you were venturing near the vicinity of Hotland. Being that the resting temperature in that region is so high, I have included one premium Snowden snow sphere. I hope it keeps you at an ideal temperature throughout your journey. Next time you are in Snowden, feel free to drop in. Mother will surely prepare you a palatable meal. Sincerely yours, Slurpee. Ah, oh, this is the tongue kid. The letter and envelope are very wet. <laughs> Slurpee. Okay, thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I appreciate your... Your kind salutations, I will write you a return letter or something like that. Starlo. Hey Clover, something's up. I made up with the posse as planned. All was going well, but then I began worrying about you and Saroba. <gasps> oh, I didn't get to read this because we never got to check the mail when we were in Steamworks. That's when I got the idea to break into Saroba's old house to celebrate her and Kaneko's eventual return. Well, when Ed was sweeping around, he found some kind of secret room. Seems like it belonged to Chujin. We didn't have time to dig into its content, but all I know is... It worried us both. You may be in danger. Then again, maybe not. Just... Come back to the Wild East for now. I can only hope this letter reaches you in time, Starlow. Hmm, unfortunately it didn't. But he- they came in time anyway. Oh, hey guys! Oh. Hi. Oi! If you want in the club, you're gonna have to wait in line. That is, unless you're on the VIP guest list. I doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Would you look at that? I got a ladder that just looks like you. Go on then. Ah. The original human? Come on, I gotta be on the guest list. Everybody knows my name. I'm not sure I meet the requirements to set foot in the club. My age isn't the problem. It's that I never got my dancer's license. Bro. I came to the club to let loose and boogie, not wait in line. It's crab hour, is what they keep telling me. It's crab hour. Who says I'm not a crab? Like, they sure are putting me in a crabby mood. That, and I haven't trimmed my fingernails in months. I could pinch someone so hard with these puppies. <laughs> the moment crab hour ends is the moment I seize the floor and get down. You can quote me on that, bro. Club Danza, they dance here. I'm tired of putting in effort for entertainment. When will someone come along that spoon feeds fun to me? That'll be the day. Guess it won't hurt to wait in line a little longer. Anytime now, the bouncer's memory of me will come rushing back. Surprise, it's taking this long. If all else fails, I'll just dance out here. Nobody could stop me. That's the spirit. You don't need the dance floor. Got a lot of impatient monsters who show up here. Surely by now, they would know not to come during crab hour. So only crabs are allowed to dance during this time? The crabs are Mr. Balador's understudies. The Sentinels of Sound, Egozum. Not sure what he rounded the fellas up, but the guy gets around. I try not to dabble in their business, I'm just here for the paycheck. You have fun in there! Mr. Balador? Mr. Balad- Hey! Oh, it is you! Welcome to my club! I am glad I remembered to put you on the guest list. Thank you! Oh, you own this! Now, join us in the dance, will you? Oh, the oh my god! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> Move so hot, my worries are melting away! Oh, you're so tiny and cute! Hee <laughs> hee! Getting down, getting down! Ooh, there's a Steamworks looking one too. Hee <laughs> hee! Smooth with it! <laughs> And this hotland looking one. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, I'm dancing! I freaking suck at dancing! I don't! Look at me go! Well, how do I get the dancing animation? It has to be the last... The last dude here? Hey! Give me the dancing animation back! Huh. How far can we go? Oh. A mighty roadblock sits in the way. And we're not gonna see the same places that we saw in Undertale. Are those spiders? With little construction hats? Oh, there's a one there's one with a jackhammer. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! You got me chillin' by my brand new house! 
That's right, just bought this sucker. I've been down in the dumps lately, so I thought it was time to move on. Do something nice for myself, you know? I highly recommend doing something nice for yourself every now and then. It's therapeutic. Yeah, that, that's a good outlook. Can't let anyone inside yet, got a crew doing renovations. They're installing the latest music production equipment, fancy stuff. Ah, oh, you were the producer who was down about missing out on Metaton, back in the saloon. Let's just say you're gonna start hearing my hot beats everywhere. Whatever your struggle, just hold tight. Life gets better. I'm glad you think so. How did you even end up getting a nice house? Music producers only. Fancy, fancy. All right. <gasps> no way. Oh? Oh, UG Apartments is right here. Just a regular wall, right? Uh, should we not visit that first? Is this where I'm gonna... Burger pants? Oh, howdy! We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why don't we tally up your death total? Drum roll, please! You died two times! Oh, I died way more than two times. Wow! If I wasn't here to help, this all would have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm, gung-ho wasn't the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. I... I did not... I died like in every single boss basically, way more than two times. I did have to replay for the Mo part, but even then, that wasn't from that far back. I don't know... I don't know why it only counted two deaths. There's a note on the door. Stranger, please stop eating the cat food I leave out. It's for a stray who's stuck in here with us, not for monsters. Thank you. Garbage day, Monday. If you can't reach the dump, throw all trash bags off the cliff south of here. The lava below should do the job. Oh, that's nice. It's like a natural incinerator. You discover some monster candy in the trash can. It's butterscotch flavored. Butterscotch? Monster candy. 10 HP. The sweet smell of butterscotch wafts from the wrapper. Who knows what might happen from this point forward? Okay. I'll turn back for now. Nothing but eviction notices. You find a discarded hot dog in the trash can. Not enough space! Uh... Man, I got a lot of stuff. Guess I'll put back... No, put it in the bag. The monster candy heals 10. So it's not- it's not gonna give me full health. Mmm, I don't know which one's good. I forgot. Give me that hot dog. Um, I guess this is for after the UG apartments? I have no idea. Wait. Those are Martlet's feathers, right? Oh no. Oh no. What does that mean? What, confused? Or do you think keeping a death tally is morbid? Knowing what could have been keeps you humble. Grateful for everyone who helped you get where you are. At least that's my philosophy. Philosophy. Hey guys. Whoa, the floor is so shiny. I'm usually a chill dude, but today has not been my day, let me tell you. First, the attendant needs my name so she can save me a room. Mr. Cursor, I reply. She steps back and goes, like some kind of warlock? I say, what? Warlock? With a visible confusion. I like the role that ten-sided die as much as the next guy, but no, I'm Mr. Cursor. Turns out, she thought I said Cursor, like I was gonna hex the joint. Really didn't need her input on my iconic name, but whatever. So then, I walk over to the elevator to head back out to the new home. It's busy, so I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and literally three hours pass. Next thing I know, the elevator opens, but oops! Mr. Cursor has a tendency to time out and fall asleep every five minutes! So I missed my one chance! And now I'm stuck here, and I don't know when I'll ever get it. Oh, he's timing out. <laughs> go home! I don't know when I'll get to go home. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have to slow down and take a breather when things get heated. 
What was I talking about? Ugh, my memory sucks. Yo, I monitored the situation further and it just clicked with me. What if I try to ram my way into the elevator by force? Like just charge straight into the doors? Eh, well, on second thought, if I try that, I might slip a disc. He's seeing a lot of computer-related terms. Ram, <laughs> click, cursor. You think this place has free Wi-Fi? I'm uh, pretty bored. I don't know, you, you'd have to ask front desk. <gasps> you know that huge GPS station right outside? I hear it's gonna be removed soon. All of them, in fact. You might think it's because letters are going out of style, but nah. The company is just switching up their business model. Direct delivery to citizens' mailboxes from now on. Convenient, but kinda bittersweet. I enjoy my daily walks to the old station. At least this means everyone keeps their jobs. That's good news. The way the whale comes every time someone rings is kind of insane, though. While a new mail system is nice, the king's kind of given up on improving society. I respect what's been accomplished, but most monsters act like we've peaked. Not true. There's always more that could be done, in my opinion. We could use better public transportation, for example, like a train. Or better yet, a subway train. Wait, wouldn't all trains be considered subway trains here? You tell me. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a job as a mail monster. You'd have to be able to carry that basket and fast travel for people. Sure, I can't fly, but I placed fourth on my high school track team. Huh, maybe that would be good enough. There is an inscription on the fountain. Hopes and dreams. Built 21X. You hear a faint melody coming from the statue. Yeah, my favorite song from Undertale. A potted plant. Hey, it looks like you, Flowey. Hello and welcome to UG Apartments. The leading establishment where your stay is temporary and unaffordable. Oh, fantastic. I'm the handlord <laughs> of this complex. Please do not say you find it quite simple. You will be kicked out. Oh, because it's a complex. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me where the castle is? Of course. To reach new home, you'll want to take that elevator on my left. Not left as in my appearance, left as in the direction. You get it. Ahem. <clears throat> of course, with the core being under maintenance, it is the only way to reach the city. Heavy traffic is expected. Oh, hold on a second. I think I recognize you. Yeah, it's the hat. A blue feathered monster came in here, and asked if I would tell you to go to the roof. She wanted to meet you on the roof, is what she said exactly. All I ask is please do not do anything illegal on the premises. If you don't mind, the complex is quite busy today. I need to attend to other guests. Okay, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Core currently under maintenance. Please do not climb over the velvet rope. Oh yeah? I'll be under it then. Hello? Oh, those Asgore plushies in the back. Welcome to Bits and Bites. Buy something, will ya? Oh, they have a puppet. The puppet is the white. The, the whole person is the purple. Toriel? Asgore. Mr. Fluffy Buns is the shining beacon of our nation. One of the main reasons we're so close to breaking the barrier and moving back up to the surface. Yeah, he's great at sticking it to the humans. Actually, it's the other way around, huh? The purple is the snake? Hey now, Asgore carries a huge weight on his shoulders, you know? Having to deal with all the unpleasantries that come with harvesting human souls isn't a fun job. Handles it like a champ, though. I wouldn't choose anyone else to lead us into a brighter future. Jeez, if you like him so much, why don't you marry the guy? Uh, he's going through a lot right now, maritally. Oh, you know I would if I could! <laughs> uh, do you know about Toriel? Oh, um, heh. <laughs> That's a rather sensitive subject. I don't really know- Toriel divorced the king! Hilarious! Buttons? The disrespect! If the man's not right, the man's not right. Oh, you're such a handful. <laughs> Am I right? Get it? Stop speaking. Sorry. <laughs> Toriel knew! Honestly, I don't know much about the former queen, her whereabouts, how she's doing, all a mystery. Of course, 
It isn't any of my business anyway, so I haven't properly looked into it. I've seen your stash of gossip magazines. Don't lie to the customer. I mean, one gets curious, of course. That's all, really. Hey, I love reading them as much as you do. Stuff is spicy. Right? To be a flyer on the wall during the... The, uh, um... Yeah, I do wish Toriel the best. I'm sure she's made a fine life for herself. <laughs> is this guy... Uh, sh sh is this a little bit too sensitive to ask about? <laughs> Hotland. It's a stretch of land which happens to be hot. Done. Area explained. Thank you. Love it when you keep it short. Ah, you're doing a disservice to the rich history Hotland has to offer. It's got rich history, all right. Cost a fortune to build the place. Heh. <laughs> but for good reason. There are many impressive landmarks here, like the lab, the spider house, the UG apartments, elevators 1 through 7, conveyor belts, rocks. It's a stretch of land which happens to be hot. Yup. The lab is located a good distance away from here, on level 1. It's where the brilliant Dr. Alphys conducts important work for the king. I have a theory that some of the weird food in the underground stem from experiments gone awry in the building. Oh yeah? Like what? Ever heard of a thing called instant noodles? It's a freaking square that turns into edible worms when put in water. But it's so good. Science gone wrong, poison, has to be. I've heard it's delicious. Have you tried it? Of course I have. I ain't afraid of death. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you were. Anyway, reaching the lab has been a pain lately. Lot of traffic. Almost like something is in the air. Something new. You think? Not much has changed around here in ages. Trust me, I've lived through it all. You have? Buttons, how old are you? I've seen war bits. <laughs> but these are not two independent monsters, right? These are actually... I don't know, man. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, can I ask you about the sock? Whoa! Whoa, hey! Wind me up, bits! Wind me up right now! Excuse me, patron, but Buttons doesn't appreciate that word. It's not considered very nice where he comes from. Take your filthy mouth to the dump where it belongs or I'll shut you up right here and now, you expressionless infant! Now, Buttons, we talked about this. Finish the phrase. We don't. Punch who hath punched. I know, I know. We're working on Buttons' anger management. It's a slow process, but I think I'll get it sooner or later. I don't see what's so wrong with unleashing rage upon my enemies. I honestly don't. It's simple. Being kind to others leads to more profits to the shop. Oh, okay. Y you're not wrong. <laughs> Maybe I could try a little harder. You're right. <laughs> well, okay, for that comment, okay, I I'll buy something from you then. Monster Candy Plus. CB Strudel. A taste fit for a king. CB Floral Cupcake, make with extra flour. 50 HP, my gosh. Delta Rune Patch. Ooh, 10 defense represent the underground. What's my current defense right now? 9 for the safety goggles. Okay, let's get the... Let's get it then. Delta Rune Patch. Appreciate it. Oh? Yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the business. You deserve it for having... For being kind and all that. Delta Rune Patch. The Kingdom of Monsters is official insignia. Alright. You attach the patch to your vest and begin to feel something. The unwavering hopes and dreams of monster kind. Yes! Yeah! Yes, hello? Is that male whale with my package? Skip the rhyming and leave it at the door, please. Who's there? I'm in the middle of robbing this nice apartment. Come back when I've escaped. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm being evicted. Slide the notice under the door and I'll add it to the scrapbook. Caution, slippery when wet. Caution, slippery when dry. The section of tiling lacks friction and we do not know how to fix it. Can I try? This seems normalish to me. You resist the odd temptation to taste the mop water. Well, it's probably kind of soapy. Currently on break, admiring a hard day's work. Okay. I'll leave you be, mister. 
They just let a kid run around like this. The elevator. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Bloop, bloop. I apologize, but we're all out of reservations tonight. A large party of ghosts are here, and the kitchen doesn't know how to make ghost food. Please come back in a few days. Please. Oh. Bloop, bloop. Okay. You don't do walk-in at all? Hey, you guys are playing here. Oh, you look depressed. Are you alright? I'm starting to think my date stood me up. I've been waiting here for three hours. The date is tomorrow night, but <laughs> would it hurt to show up a little early? The silverware is getting cold. Oh, it's, it's okay. Uh, maybe you want to come back a little later? Listen to the music. Let's listen to the music. Who am I kidding? My date is so cute. Way out of my league. Why would anyone show up 20 hours early for someone like me? <sighs> I'm just not cut out for the love. Oh, no, you gotta believe it first. Your destination, the castle. You notice a ranking sheet on the board. Winners of the Actually Magma Smoothie Challenge. Pyrope, fastest time. Grillby, calm and collected. Cinderhead, struggled but finished strong. Heats, something. We forgot who this was. <laughs> Sarlo, was only trying to impress someone. Fuku Fire, most enthusiasm. No Cone, transported to a hospital. We might be in legal trouble. <laughs> what was this a ranking of again? Actually, Magma Smoothie Challenge. Oh, it's No Cone's obsession with fire yet again. Oh. Ooh. Oh, uh, you're doing a great job here. Ah, uh, rain. Beautiful droplets from the sky. What produces rain? Is it magic, I wonder? Grandma always said that rain is a manifestation of the underground's heartache. Feel like I've heard that before in Hollow Knight? When monsters travel to waterfall to wish their worries away, those feelings are sucked up into the air and poured out across the land. From old sorrow comes new life in the soil below. If that's the case, some sad monster must have stood in this corner for a long time. Like you. As I mentioned, Waterfall is the best place to go to experience rain. Unfortunately, getting there from Hotland isn't easy right now. Have you noticed that? All the roadblocks scattered about? It's like they don't want anyone venturing off a specific path or something. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to go to the original places in Undertale. Jeez! If you're carrying any rain, don't be shy about releasing it into the air. Holding on to sadness weighs you down. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. Oh! What? We can knock on the plant. There's somebody there! You hear sounds coming from the plant. Oh, wow. What were the chances? Huh. Hey, uh, buddy. Do you need a chair? This has got to be the best restaurant in the underground. Seriously. You can't beat the food, the service, the atmosphere. Something has always puzzled me, though. Where's the kitchen? In the back? I must confess, there is one thing about this place that gets me down. The music. Like, this man is fine. A little too new way for my taste. I miss the acts of my youth. There was this lounge singer they'd host. Beautiful! I mean, wowza, meow! Sorry. <laughs> You're like an old fart literally going, Back in my day! Oh, that's it? My food should be out any minute. Can't wait. Why is nobody sitting on chairs around here? Even this guy's not sitting on a chair. What's up? You enjoying the tune we're currently banging out? Hope you are, because it's the only one we're playing tonight. No requests at this time. Sorry, kid. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for entertaining us. All right. We got places to be, pal. Chop, chop. Yeah. Well. Hopefully the feathers being around like that is not a bad sign. Actually, where are the feathers on this map? It's all gone. The swimming pool of champions. <laughs> No, no, don't. No, Clover, don't. Nothing 
but recalled gift shop products. Recalled. Okay. Who knows what might happen from this point forward? Okay. Oh, it's pretty. The lights are pretty. Hey, Martlet. Have you found Zoroba? You made it! Great! What a view! That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is new home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Saroba and Starlow headed there. Guess she ran the opposite way of the lad to juke her pursuer? The two couldn't have gone far. I'm positive we'll find them. Oh, uh, you don't think anything like, um, Starlow betraying us? And then somehow siding with Saroba? That wouldn't happen, right? Well... Oh, <sighs> it's all setting in now. This is like... Super intimidating, right? Not just me? I don't know when I'll get another chance, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul. One of the best I've met. Left and right, you've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. You diffuse situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans, I know you can ask Gors. After we defuse this Aroba situation, we'll march right up to that castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't worry about me. When Monster Cat is freed, We'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> mm -hmm. Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way, West New Home. The elevator downstairs should take us straight there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime, you ready? Aww! Fist bump! Let's stop Saroba! After you! Oh, Martlet. Yeah, and then in the beginning, we didn't get off on the right foot and all that, but... Now we're buddy-buddy. We're There's no more time to waste. We got this. Okay, let's do that then. Sorry if the meat location was hard to find. It needed a private vantage point. I also forgot that not everyone can fly. Well, please try to make a, an effort to remember. <laughs> this is a busy place, so we should keep to ourselves. No need to raise suspicion. It's a normal day in the underground, yup. Let's just hope it ends normally, too. I hope so. Need to take that elevator to new home. If it isn't occupied, that is. Uh, occup occupation wasn't the problem. Is it even on? Actually, I didn't try it. I never tried it. Um, but we already know the answer. What's waiting for us at the end? And Martlet will never get to see me grow up. But I hope Martlet... Maybe Martlet herself can be okay? A map of your current location sits above the bench. The underground is so much larger than you imagined. Right? Ooh! Ooh, there's a like gentle, gentle women and gentlemen here. Now, Charles, I know you've had a long day, but... If the dishes in the sink aren't done, we can't eat dinner. Don't even think about heating up a TV dinner instead. Those do not have the nutrition my hubby needs to get big and strong. Oh my, we've been quarreling so long, it's way past dinner time now. 
I suppose we'll have to invent the fourth meal of the day. Schminner! Oh, I love the sound of that already! Schminner time! <laughs> I ought to go and do entrepreneurship, don't you think, Charles? I'll invent many useful things, like a new attitude for you. What do you think about all this, Charles? Can't the guy catch a break? They put me in doc review all afternoon. Doc review? I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in your weird soap. What's up with that anyway? What's wrong with soap from the store? Asked Jandroid. I can't even pronounce half the ingredients on that bottle by the sink. You, Yuka. Nope, can't do it. I just can't. Are we even at the right station? Darn it all. I think we took the wrong elevator. See what happens when I'm stressed? I knew we should have moved to Hotland. Should have trusted my gut. This wouldn't have happened with their respectable elevator system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know there's a map over there. But I'm too angry to improve our situation. <laughs> They're barely talking about the same stuff. <laughs> oh, what did I spot? A discarded bag of potato crisps. Uh, chisps. I'll take it. Ah, come on. I don't need this anymore, and I guess I'll put away the granola as well. Pot potato chisps. Regular old potato chisps. But they're 13 HP, they're actually kind of crappy. This is new. It's like a capital... It feels capital city-ish already. Hmm. It is rather late, isn't it? Narrows down the locations they could have gone to at least. Whoa, the background. You dig around the bin and find a bottle of sizzling soda. Oh, they're giving me so much stuff. You know what that means. Do humans often eat from the garbage? Ah, oh, shoot. I could have left a trash bag out in Snowden as a lure. I'm only joking, of course. I can't judge anyone's culinary preferences after today. Adult soda. Yeah. Huh. I expected a lot more citizens. A little eerie when no one's around. Wait, are we expected to go up? There was a down portion I haven't been to yet. Oh. Huh, let's check out the down... Oh! What the? Wait, what? How come I just turned around and ended up somewhere else? Oh, wait. I thought the wall was a lot closer than here. Everything is closed. Oh no, I'm closed! Come back bright and early for a scoop of nice ice cream! Some other time, maybe. Everything is closed. Uh-huh. What about down here? Oh, I didn't notice that there was a... Despite a lack of visible construction, the cones obstruct your path. Even though we can see right past it. Ugh, oh, fine. Alright, okay. No traces of them anywhere? I'm glad nothing bad happened to Martlet when we saw her feathers earlier. She was just flying around, that's all. Hmm. I think this elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place a robot would run to. Let's keep searching this area for now. But you know how Chujin got fired and all that? What if Saroba... Do you think she might have talked to Asgore about this already? I don't know. Because maybe that's why she's going in this direction, right? Okay, I... I must have missed something somewhere. Oh, here we go. I see them! This way! Suruba looks distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but... Worst comes to worst, we might have to retreat. Oh, I feel like I should have gotten more food out of the bag. Tactically, of course. Let's listen in. <gasps> A cherry blossom. 
Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Saroba, I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kanako is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what? You'll kill me? I'll... Hey! Clover and I, we watched the tapes. You need to let this go. If not... Why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home! No, thank you for finding me. Makes things easier. If I were you two, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self righteous act, will you? Well, if she's convinced that Chujin's project will make things better for human or uh, for monsters, ah, <sighs> by by sacrificing a child, just stop it. We can turn this around, Saroba. You said it yourself that Kanako was alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life, that's rich. I lied about Kanako Star. I had to. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no hope for her. Wait, what is falling down? Is that from Undertale? Did I just forget it? I thought it was just falling down from Mount Ebbet. I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know to do at this point. Kanako. Kanako is a boss monster. She's the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy, his plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him. You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If we were here, the Chujin I know would... The Chujin you knew. You knew nothing of him. No, Martlet's right. We might have had some differing views, but... Chujin was kind. To everyone. And I know you are as well. It's just that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best? Not only Clover's, but the soul of- SHUT UP! You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where's this high horse coming from? Sounds like to me we're in this pit together. Soroba, please. Just get out of here and let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover! We're going to Asgore and that's that. Um... About that. That might be a problem too. Don't you dare. Martlet, grab Clover. I'll keep Saroba at bay. Go now! Oh! Son of a... Is she that strong? Clover. I... I'm sorry for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then, I could have continued to bury my sorrows in the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but at the end of the day, you're naive. There is so much you don't understand about monsters. Yes, it may be because I'm an infant, I'm a literal child, and you are, you are an adult bullying a kid? What? Did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Five humans living out their lives unharmed? That isn't how it works. 
I'm guessing you discovered that truth, right? Then what? Was your Martlet's plan to storm Asdor's castle for revenge? No, it was even more naive than that. We were gonna ask him to let us leave. Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. Wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But, who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am about to do the very same thing. I don't know which one's better. I feel like opening the barrier might actually be better than Chujin's plan. Well, I don't know. Opening the barrier means that monsters will get to go back to the surface again, but if there's not enough monsters, then if a war starts again, that's gonna be a problem. Whereas if you go with Chujin's plan, you make a bunch of immortal boss monsters, the fighting will get more intense and maybe the monsters will win. But the barrier would still be up, wouldn't it? And let's say they get past, so they'll have a bigger bigger advantage in the war, a hypothetical war. I am a hypocrite, a liar, sure. But at least I, with Chujin's guidance, can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that. And Asgore? Asgore is a coward. Oh, you're just salty because he fired your husband for producing no results. Didn't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but he... He doesn't consider what will happen once he gets his souls. Everyone else too. It kind of what we just considered, right? Even if you break open the barrier, if a fight starts again, the monsters might lose again. They all believe victory will come easy, but the humans I've heard of? They are powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, they will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I am no better than Asgore on a scale of morality, I'm sure of it. But what I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting, so I will see that it is done. Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. No turning back. Oh, I guess we can't have her protection anymore. Saroba, a legacy not to be forgotten. Oh, dumb, dumb. Whoa, 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 I've already... Wow, that was not good. Calm. You take a breath. The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. So Roba tries to ignore the condition of her friends. Tries. Uh, we don't have enough food, I think. I think the, chis the chips were the bad one. The crunch is deafening. She's not even talking to us. The battle continues. Negotiate. You try to talk to Saroba, but her attention is impenetrable. Because she knows if she starts talking, then it'll be a problem. Whoa, dude! Oh, she made me stuck! Oh, wow, this is not gonna be fun. I need to grab... Maybe now is the time to use the golden cactus. You need to give up your guard! At all times! Don't buy into Saroba's sob stories! Ah. Saroba stares into your soul with regret. You try to talk to Saroba, but her attention is impenetrable. I don't even know how to. Oh. The battle continues. 
to nervously drink the corn chowder. Could have been worse. Why? Oh my god. The battle continues. I think I'm gonna take the golden golden cactus now. Because I need some health to be able to tank that first little hit. You take a huge bite out of the cactus. It bites back. You will heal for three turns. Why won't you die? Oh my goodness. A chilling breeze envelops the area. You try to talk to Saroba, but her attention... Come on! Why? Oh, there's gravity! Okay. Uh, actually, we've been doing pretty well these past few turns. That golden cactus was a bit of a waste. You look up at Saroba, enraged by what she's done. If I don't succeed, it's over! Saroba stares into your soul with regret. Take a breath. Die! Ah! Oh my god, there's no room here! Okay, now, after the golden cactus is gone, of course, now I took the most damage. Oh, wow. Stop trying to stop me from- Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Ow! What? Oh. I'm alive. I'm alive. Ah! Ah! Looks like Clover might have a little bit of something called determination, too. So it's come to this. My last resort. For Chujin. For Kanako. Your mask. Don the mask. And become death. For the future of monster kind! Bells? It's like a protection charm. She, she once used it on us and now it's... Whoa, what's at the border of the... We have to do some shooting there. I need to concentrate hard. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Auto. Fi oh. Auto fire might be nice. I'll try without first. Yeah. Where do you put the checkpoint? Oh, here. Okay. Thank God. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. I'm gonna watch out for like twenty things at the same time. Uh, 
I don't have enough room to get out. Oh. Oh! Dash! It's the same as the... Oh! My health came back. Ah, I think there's a... There's a bit of a strange interaction here. Where... I, if you eat the golden cactus before you die, you end up healing when you come back. And then the golden cactus is still in my inventory, so I guess we're getting a bit of extra healing here. <laughs> Let justice be done. Okay. Yeah, and, and the, the golden cactus is back because the checkpoint is here, but all my food from the first checkpoint is back. Anyway, that dashing thing is the same as the arcade game that we were playing. Good thing I practiced on that. You hold on to your hopes. Defense temporarily increased. Your soul pulses with great power. You think of those you love most. Speed temporarily increased. Oh man, oh man. Your soul pulses with great power. You refuse to back down. Oh, wow! Now we have stuff going on. Why don't we just keep doing that then? Refuse. Gain 7 HP. Ah, but we have to keep... Okay, we have to probably eat a little now. Flowers do. You make sure Flowey isn't watching before trying it. <laughs> Chunky. Saroba gazes down upon the underground. You were that strong? Maybe speed would help me? Defense? Defense. You can't get the lanterns if they're on the side. Petals rain from the heavens. Let's keep enduring while we have full health. Oh, did I break it? Your soul pulses with great power. We could do speed as well. The one's on the side. Oh, I need to dodge. I haven't even been using the dodge since we got it. Mayhem has been unleashed. Gain 5 HP. Oh, it doesn't always work the same. I'm not gonna stop. What would you like to wear tomorrow, honey? Solomon and Christina are paying a visit and bringing food too. I'll help you up and we can all enjoy a picnic on the front porch. Kinda weird they're hanging out with Starlo's parents. How's that sound? Saroba. Is he really sick? Actually, they never clarified how he died, right? Was it just sickness? Illness? Yes? I don't. <laughs> this is all so pitiful. Hey, don't say that. We don't need to have anyone over. It could just be us. A picnic sounds lovely. I want you and Kanako to have one, surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... Gosh... You know... I never was afraid of it all my life, but now that it's so close... No... Shut up, stop it! Say it like it is, or don't say anything! 
can't do this. Not now. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. Oh, You're gonna talk about the basement? My work. We never talked about it much, did we? We didn't. When I built this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance is under the kotatsu. Always has been. There, I worked towards a project. Something much bigger than myself. Bigger than all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I would like you to view it. Will you do that for me? Ah, ah. Wow, the multiple. Don't move and move in the same thing. You refuse to back down. We have to get the yellow thingies if we want to stop the projectiles as soon as possible. Whoa, I can't even. Oh. I keep forgetting we can dash. We, can, we have to dash. The syrup is sweet. Oh my god! I can't get the guys at the bottom. Saroba radiates with anger. Okay, if I'm just gonna refuse to back down, maybe it's better for me to just eat. Get that little bit of extra health. There we go. I say as I continue to refuse to back down. Oh, it's seven again! I don't know what determines that. Again. A mother's love. Ah, defense. It moves this time. They're harder to get. We have to dash through the big one. We got one. You prepare yourself for whatever comes next. Hold on to your hopes. Is it in the mask? Kanako made it for you, right? Is there stuff happening in the mask? Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. She saw it first. Kanako! What are you doing down here? Is... Is it true? What? Am I... Different? 
Kanako, I... Daddy said he would have lived a long time if I wasn't here. Hmm. Well, how long do monsters normally live? I thought they just lose the property of being immortal, meaning they go back to a normal lifespan. So he's dying directly because he gave birth? He had an offspring? Wow. He would have still... be... No, no! Your father loved you! And he didn't want to put you in any danger! You heard him! His dream... All these books and papers... You've been trying to finish it, haven't you? With my limited abilities? Yes. But it doesn't involve you. Oh, but it sounds like... No, it sounds like Kanako came down here not before her mom, though, because she's already been continuing off Chujin's work. I've been looking into ways to create the serum without a boss monster. I'll... figure it out. I have to. But... I found this in the trash. <gasps> you figured it out. Last week. I... Using the leftover ex extract from the human soul. I believe I have removed any corruption it held. Negating the need for someone pure of heart. Yes. Oh, so they don't need a human? So you did it. Ah, but... You don't need a human, but you still need Kanako or something like that. And that's why she's like, you know what? Forget about it. I'm gonna go back to the old way. Which needs a human. Daddy wish could come true, right? We can make him smile. Make him proud of us. But... He didn't want you to be a part of this. And I agree. Let me do it. I want to make things right. Be useful for once. And I trust you to keep me safe. I... I do believe the refined method would work. I just... Please... You promised you would make his dream come true. I did. Very well. But I'll make it quick. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure. Alright? <gasps> mm-hmm. We'll be the heroes of the underground. All thanks to you and Daddy. Heroes, huh? That has a nice ring to it. Okay, wait here. Uh. You will need to stand very still for this. Close your eyes and I will begin the fusion extraction. You may feel a pinch or two, but it'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood! You truly believe in this, don't you? Yeah! She's too young to know otherwise, she's like, what, five? Oh my god, you're... <sighs> these parents, I have, I have words for these parents. Love you lots. Love you more. Uh. Oh, oh. How do you feel? Oh. Mm. No. No, 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 no. Why didn't it work? Kaneko, wake up! Wake up right now! Mommy's here, come on! Hey! What? What have I done? I'ma be real, Soroba. You, you thought about it for like three microseconds and... 
<sighs> was there anything wrong with Kanako to begin with, though? This was all just for the sake of Chujin's dream and all that, right? Using your own kid to fulfill your dream like that, especially when he said he didn't want her involved in all that, too. So you know the truth now. Are you satisfied? Do you find joy in making me relive my darkest memories? I never claimed to be a saint. I'm drowning in a sea of mistakes like anyone else. But instead of sinking, I'm chasing the one ray of sunlight peeking through the surface. I tried letting go, moving on. But I guess deep down, I'm too stubborn to live like that. This is my fate. This is how it must be. <gasps> You're not done! Her mask! Suroba is shaken by the memory. You hold on to your hopes! That wasn't super great. Saroba, I'm gonna need you to realize what you're doing. Oh, I can't. They go too fast for me to. Woo! Oh, the golden cactus is still here. I forgot about it. Uh, which one's good? Which one's good? Moss salad. Brace yourself and eat the moss salad. The texture can only be described as insulation-esque. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a gravity. Ah! That was intense. That was getting intense. We're so close to our goal! Don't mess it up! All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, and maybe I'll try remember. You think of those you love most. The robot is shaken up by the memory. Grassy fries. Oh, this is kind of crazy. I'm just gonna keep eating. Keep eating. We're, we're alive somehow. Oh, I ate the moss salad already. Shoot. Okay. We need to go back to the defense stuff if we want a, a chance to live. Adult soda. I'm just tanking at every turn. Tastes like water. The end is near. Hang in there. I don't have time for that golden cactus, I think. It's too scary. The dog. Saroba's emotions wane, but she stays resolute. 6 HP. Oh! Here we go, here we go. Just keep enduring it. 
Well, the whole thing is moving this time. I feel like I've never dodged one of those white ones. There we go. <laughs> never mind. A desperate chaos. Oh, the message changed. Not very good at the whole dodging business, am I? The mask breaks, the one thing left from Kanako. My love. My child. All gone. Why wouldn't you just... I swore I had the key. Saving monster kind from their demise. Carrying on his legacy. It was worth the risk to me. Even risking your own child? But now... Now my life is over. For nothing. For no one. Well, it kind of makes me wonder if... I was expecting Asgore to do us in, but you know how they've been avoiding... The places that we've seen before in Undertale? What if Clover makes a choice here? I have done unforgivable things. I let my husband work himself to death. I put my precious little girl through hell. And... Oh god. Star. Martlet. All for a chance to make a difference. A chance. It's not even proven. A chance. I don't think I can bear this weight any longer. You won this battle. Do what needs to be done. What are you waiting for? Please, give me this. She wants it, but we're not giving it to her, so in some way it is a bit like denying her her own wishes. Why are you like this? Always taking the high road. Aren't you angry? Aren't you just? I represent justice. The yellow soul represents justice. Pull the trigger already! Pull it! Why? Soroba! You... beat me up pretty badly, huh? Now we know who's stronger. Star, I... Don't sweat it too much. I reckon I deserved it for the Wild East fiasco. Heck of a hit, though. I didn't know you had that in you. I'm... I'm so sorry. Where am I? A hanging off a cliff? In new home? Clover, we gotta get out of here! No. It's finished. Clover. Clover won. Y'all had a fight? And the deputy won? Oh, my lessons worked. Not the lessons, though. We didn't have any of those. Wait, how much did I miss? I... I don't know what to do. Apologize, make excuses, nothing would change reality. I've dug a hole far too deep to climb out of. And for nothing. Hey, where was I a few hours ago? In the same situation. Yes, but you didn't try to murder a child, arguably. My judgment was clouded and I screwed up. But you forgave me. The four others did as well. We both made poor choices, no sugarcoating that. 
There is hope. At least, I believe there is. I can't begin to grasp what you've gone through. But this was an absolutely horrible way of dealing with it. You can't change what has happened, you're right. But you can control how you live from now on. Your actions will mean everything. But... Chujin... His legacy... His wish... Forget about it! It's dead! A legacy is dead! It will never be fulfilled! Chujin might not have been the perfect monster I thought he was, but even his darkest secrets came from a caring place. And that right there... is his legacy. It isn't found in a serum to save the world. Everyone he helped, everything he crafted, that's what matters. Mortlet's right. He made life down here bearable for so many. And for that, he has my respect. I never thought about it like that. What the hell was I thinking? I was so tunnel visioned, so lost. Took her staff. We can work through this. <laughs> the fact that Starlo used to like. I'm still thinking about it, the whole love triangle thing. Used to like Saroba. It's kind of like, you know, Asgore and Toriel getting divorced and all that. Adult monsters and their family problems. We're here for you. Now. You should take some time to heal. Recoup. But... Kaneko's well-being is still a valid concern. I have connections to the royal scientists, so... I'll begin an investigation. Try my best to help. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Martlet. Clover. I owe an apology to you, most of all. Our time in the Steamworks and what I said. It wasn't fake. It did allow me to briefly forget my troubles and have fun. But my reasoning for being there... I can't begin to... Oh, Why? I mean... I mean... Thank you. I'm gonna cry. Clover, a kind soul. I can't believe it's come to this, but... Clover, I think your journey is at its end. Asgo and the barrier await us. No! Already? As sad as it is, Clover needs to go home. My parents are probably waiting. That won't work. What? Sure, we know Clover for, for who they are, but Asgore... He won't see Clover as we do. And he doesn't care to listen. But this is a unique situation! The king has always been kind and understanding. Yes, because he cares about monsters. Yeah, Clover wouldn't hurt anyone. You think that's ever mattered in the past? The truth stings, but it is what it is. So what? Should I take Clover back to Snowden? Hide out for the rest of our lives? Clover's gotta go back home too. Yeah, why couldn't Clover just stay with us? I mean, it's plausible, but won't the Royal Guard be on the hunt? After so many encounters, Clover just disappears? It wouldn't be the first time. Oh yeah, they would probably think the same thing happened again. But Asgore would know, because Asgore is the one who got the other humans killed. And this time he didn't kill anybody, so why did the human disappear? But... what about the others? You know, the next humans. Clover gets to live happily, but they have to die? Oh. We don't know their hearts. Maybe they... What? Deserve it? Have you learned anything? I'm just weighing our options. We're backed into a corner here, alright? Hey, calm down, guys. You know I really thought tonight's fiasco was enough. We all thought it through and things were going well. 
but you immediately suggest giving the future children up to... I didn't mean it like that. Get off my case. Oh. You probably want to go home, don't ya? Humanity already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. I did everything in my power to entertain, so monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Anyway, we'll bypass the royal guard and plead your case to Asgore. Remember your real mission, Glover. Asgore only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. Most might die cheerful, but if I lie down here, it's hopeless. All the things that people on our journey have said to us, Dalv, Starlo. The five children you set out to find in the first place. Despite its ups and downs, our little adventure was a blast. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Keep your head in the game. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. Come on, Clover! You are a kind soul. One of the best I've met. Clover! Clover! Clover, what are you doing? Hey, uh... Clover? What's going on? You're scaring us here. Did we just dig out the heart? It just came out? It's time. What does that mean? It's time to go. No. No, 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 no. We'll think of a plan. We have options. Yeah, don't do something you'll regret. If it's snowed and you don't like, you can live with me. My house has the space, and the posse loves you. Please, you gotta listen to us, Clover. You deserve better. You're... You're serious. Is Clover just gonna give up? I understand. Soroba. This whole time, what have we been doing? Dragging Clover around, pulling at a leash. Selfish. Clover came here by their own volition. They deserve to leave by it too. But you don't want this outcome, right? Surely. If there was another way. But let's face it. There isn't. I believe Clover realized that a long time ago. There was no way to leave. I don't know what to say. As much as I want to stop you, I see it in your eyes. This is about our freedom, isn't it? Justice! If Clover sees that justice means that monsters are not subjugated to human whims and being held down in a barrier like this. And so Clover willingly gives up their soul. Clover... You are the bravest, most selfless human I've met. You might also be the only human. Of course, I've only met one. But if I ever meet another, I hope they're just like you. I'd promote you to Sheriff, because Lord knows you earned it. But you aren't Sheriff material. You're much more. Thank you, Star. I... already made my feelings known in the Hotland. So... Uh... Psst. <laughs> uh... This means more to us than you know. But how, how are you gonna do it though? Are you just gonna like give it to Saroba? Uh, to everyone. 
as we know, the Yellow Soul eventually ends up at Asgore's. Well, I understand if you two don't want to be here for, you know. Do you have what you need? I do. Yeah, so they're gonna give it to Soroba then for the Chujin's legacy. Guess the sun's getting low. I'll see you around, partner. Oh! Thank you for the hat, though, Star. You got a receipt for that? <laughs> you can give it back to Blackjack for me. Thanks, kid. Goodbye, Clover. You've changed my life, truly. Oh! Your bedhead. <laughs> How will I know you're a human now, huh? <laughs> this means a lot. I'm sorry the world is like this, but people like you make it better. Thank you. We'll... We'll be outside. You've gained my respect. I mean it. We couldn't leave anyway, so might as well... ...give it in. For the greater good. Do you... want me to stay? Go on. I'll... be okay. Very well. This won't be forgotten. Goodbye, Clover. What about Flowey? <gasps> so, this is it? All that work just to become another cog in the machine? <laughs> you've grown so predictable. I couldn't do all of this right now, but maybe you've earned your rest. After all, there's always another. Can't say it's been fun, so... Suppose this is where we part ways. Oh, who am I kidding? And then we meet again. Friend. Oh. Hopefully one day the the human soul, the sixth human soul will do something good, Clover thinks, as they give up their life. Oh, the Swelter Stone. Hmm. Well, that was something. So they, they put it in... Toriel. Hey, they put it in the chamber. I thought that was like... I thought Asgore and Soroba were sort of doing something different then. You're just gonna give it to Asgore? Really? Forget about the legacy then? Uh... 
Oh, Dalv! Oh, I would have liked to see more of Dalv. I thought he was gonna appear a little bit more, but we just saw him and... Mmm. He's working on his music. Oh, yeah, the... <laughs> the hypochondriac. Ooh, the shuffler is ra oh raking it in. Mo, they're working with Mo. Working with, working under. Mo. So much for being broke. Not at all. Oh god, what's happening at the mines? Oh, <gasps> is that guy getting promoted? With the sat, that was the upset guy, right? The brother. And they're still, oh, keeping the sapling alive. It grew so fast! Oh, the town is... Oasis Valley. There are crops here, people selling corn. Oh, Star! Star looking like his old self. Oh, Star is a younger brother. I'm guessing, judging based off height. <laughs> Oh, the little dudes. The gardeners. People. Who the heck is that chef? I've never seen that guy. They're making more and more friends. That is it. Oh, you fixed it. I've been thinking about that day. A lot. Time is a funny thing, you know? I guess in the big picture of my life, you were only a blip. But oftentimes, those blips make the biggest impacts. The king offered me a promotion. A guard post in new home. But after experiencing the worst a job had to offer, I declined. Not only that, I put in my two weeks, huh? I felt that there are much better causes to pour myself into. Anyways, sorry that I'm putting you on one of my rafts again. Might not be the most appropriate send-off after the last ride, but it's the best tribute I could think of. It's nice. It is. Thanks for doing this. You want to put the gun here? <laughs> Did you return it? Felt good to craft something with meaning again. Oh, you made you made a brand new one. You got your gift? Yeah, here you go. Oh, you're really putting the gun in? 400 gold! <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's someone I invited who was a friend of Clover's. Delve? A friend? Hello? Is this the right place? Oh, hello! Howdy! Sorry if I'm intruding. My name is Delve and I, um... I was living in the ruins when Clover first entered the underground. So you were the first to meet him? One of the first, I suppose. Anyway, when we met, I acted foolish and... Attack Clover. Oh, don't worry. Literally every single person here tried to do the same thing. <laughs> I think we all did at a point. I promise it didn't last long, though. And I held back a little. Um, where was I going with this? Clover helped you out of your situation. Yes. All in all, Clover was very kind to me. <laughs> that checks out. It's nice to meet you, Dalv. Thanks for coming. 
Mm -hmm. Gonna put corn in my raft? Of course! Well... No more stalling. Everyone ready? I believe so. Oh, wait a second! I want to place one more thing. What is that? Oh, the glasses! Safety glasses? I want Clover to stay safe on their journey. Wait, which pair? Oh, you gave me your... No, no, you gave me the red pair. <laughs> I thought you gave me your pair, the blue one, because you liked it more and therefore you treasure me more by giving me your favorite pair. Because <laughs> the red one doesn't go with your outfit. You don't like it as much. Can't forget them, right? No, you can't. Dalv, you don't want to give me corn? I'm actually a little surprised. Oh, we're at Waterfall, huh? Recognize that flower. There you go. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, friend. Bye. Thanks for all you've done. <coughs> See you around, kid. Take care, Clover. Now we have the end for real. Well, like we always suspected, it was always gonna end in tragedy because that's the thing about seek prequels, right? But I think it's nice that Clover got to go out on their own terms. You know, this is a choice that they made because they saw the unjustness in the underground, in the whole monster versus human society. But I, I don't know, man, like... <sighs> Because just breaking down the barrier, that's the first step, but then what happens after that? At the same time, Clover's like a child, so this is the decision they came up with, and that's... that's fine. So prequels, yeah, we know the ending already, but it literally is the, the journey that matters the most, and we met a lot of fun people, I think. Yeah. I think my favorite character would probably be... Martlet, I think, yeah. Maybe Dalv if he came up a little bit more, but his role in the story overall was a little bit less than I expected it to be. I expected him to be in the beginning and then, you know, he would catch up with me later on, but... Well, he did catch up, but only at the very end here. And I wish we got to see a little bit more about the whole corn stuff too. Uh, who? Who was the one giving corn to Dalv? Huh. This is super impressive for a fan game. The new music, the presentation, and just, you know, the overall production qualities are clearly very high. But I think the biggest achievement of all is that they somehow managed to work on something for completely free for seven years. And they just persevered throughout, which is, it's insane. A project going for seven years and they actually finished it. Ah, that's, uh, that's the part from Undertale. The cowboy hat and the, the gun. Cool. Somebody calls for help. You answer the call. And there we have it! Undertale Yellow! I really love how it's inspired by Undertale, but they were very careful not to rely on stuff like nostalgia or fan-favorite characters to get them through. These were all original characters, mostly. We only got to see Toriel in the very beginning as a... as an introduction, and then Flowey. But other than that, yeah, we didn't get to see anything that was... It wasn't a retread of anything that was in Undertale. So that's really fantastic. The pacing and the jokes I felt like were kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it felt like not too much was happening. Some of the jokes, like the girl boss thing, I I'm scared it'll get dated pretty quickly. But this is a thing that a bunch of people got together and worked on for free out of their love and passion for Undertale for seven years. So I, I don't think there's much else I can say in response to that. There were lots of parts I enjoyed too. The card game and the Wild East 
cowboy cosplay stuff going on with the posse. And the lab? The Steamworks. Steamworks surprisingly had some pretty fun mini games too. So that was all pretty neat. Mm hmm. Undertale Yellow, what a love letter to Undertale. Made me want to play the original again, to be honest. What was your favorite section or character in Undertale Yellow? I'm curious. I really like Dalvin in the beginning. Yeah, I wish he got a little bit more screen time. He was like my sweet little boy, but you know. I hope he lives on. Everybody lives on happily after Clover's gone. Until the last soul comes around anyway. Okay, with that said, I think I'm pretty happy to leave it off here with Undertale Yellow. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this. This was Wellens. I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!